How's it going guys? It's me Davey here for another shave and today I'm actually going to finally get to this soap. I've actually had a lot of soaps to try and play around with as of recently. So I actually kind of skipped over this and skipped over not really on purpose but it just happened. It's going to be Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Tamanu Noir. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correct and unlike that one label that was hideous, the, the flapper girl from this for the, for the Chicago meetup, I actually got the cool one. Which is like an old vintage uh, Chicago Cubs logo with that old school bear. So this is an awesome label. I'm sorry, Douglas. You know, I just didn't like that label. Um, at least Rico loved it. But yeah, I like the little bear one. This, this is good stuff right here. So today I'm actually, uh, I actually wasn't even going to, I wasn't going to shave today. But the wife called and her boss actually invited us out to a soccer game. I live about 20 minutes away, away from the city of Carson. Not even 20 minutes. Without traffic, it's probably like 10 minutes. But the Los Angeles Galaxy play there. Her boss is a huge Los Angeles Galaxy fan. And he invited us out to a game tonight. So I'm actually going to get dressed. Just got out of the shower a little while ago, which absolutely sucks. Because if I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm already starting to sweat. It's hot. It is really, really, really hot today. And actually, it's probably not even so much the heat. Because the temperature itself, we're in the 80s, so it's actually pretty reasonable, but it's humid. So it's real just sticky and gross feeling. Load it up nice and heavy. Um, again, I know nobody wants to go through a soap too, too fast, but we have so much of it. At least if you're in my situation, man, load up heavy. Enjoy your shave. Don't risk having a bad shave for being cheap. Like, I stopped, obviously, for the moment because I'm shaving, but I was having this weird conversation um, with a gentleman by the name of Rudolph. And if you guys watch Jamming G.I. James, he made a video the other day showing where he ate a bunch of, like, chili. The video wasn't of chili. Him eating chili, it was a shave video. But he showed some pictures. I made the comment on you via YouTube that he's going to end up shitting his pants. And it's all a good joke, a good fun a joke. Uh, me and him are buddies. We text and have conversations and stuff. So, and it was on his YouTube page. Now, I do know, I have some limited knowledge that YouTube is connected to G+. I assumed when I make a comment, it'll go like on a general feed of something that I made the comment of. Apparently, it ended up, I guess, on the Shave the Man G Plus page. Like, I've had conversations with multiple people. I don't like G Plus. Um, not because of the people, just I don't really like the format that it's set up in. So, I kind of avoid it. So, I really don't know what the hell shows up there. Apparently, I offended this guy. Uh, I think his name is Rudolph, I believe. Um, with my comment to G.I. James, he's going to shit his pants. I, that wasn't my intention, but he's like all upset about it. And now he's even thinking that I'm trying to insult his intelligence by saying I didn't know it was going to be on Shave the Man. Now, when I made that comment on the Shave the Man G+, I don't know. I may have, I may not have. I would at least have would have considered what could have been the possible downfall or pitfalls or fallout, whatever you want to call it. But with this, I I made it via the YouTube app on the actual video. I guess somehow it showed up there. And he felt it was inappropriate. Like, and maybe on the forums I would agree But I was in my intention. It's hiding. I gotta open the door. Get a little air in here. Cause I'm I'm dying. I, I really am. It's freaking hot. 
So, but I made the comment directly on the video on YouTube, his personal channel. So if he would have got offended by it, you know, he has the right to. It's his channel and he could remove it. And it wasn't a forum. It's not a topic of conversation. So I made the comment and didn't even think to look back on it. I tell the gentleman that, you know, I had no intention for to reach Shay the man. I had no idea. So again, he accuses me of pretty much lying to him. And he used, a, he used the analogy, don't piss down my neck and tell me it's raining. First off, there's only, and I told him this, there's only two reasons in this world that I would ever lie. Only two reasons. One, to get myself out of trouble. And two, to spare the feelings of a loved one. You know, since he or anyone for that matter is probably watching these videos or in a position to get me in trouble, nor do I, the majority are my loved ones that I'll spare feelings. You know, I have no reason to lie to this dude. I genuinely didn't know. So he's trying to say, Pretty much, why don't I just accept that I made a mistake? Me not knowing how G Plus works is nothing for me to apologize about. So I was just generally surprised about this conversation and just the fact that you think that I'm trying to lie to him about it. It's a comment on a video. It is not that relevant to my life. So I never really give it a second thought. And it's not something that I am going to choose to lie about. Not necessary. And in a forum setting, I would actually probably might even be able to agree that it may, may be inappropriate. But I had no intention for it to be in a forum. It was on a personal YouTube channel. So, I was just genuinely surprised just having that conversation. You know, one, I'm surprised it would bother somebody that much, and two, that I would have to defend my honor over it as if I would lie about my intentions with the comment or my knowledge about G. Plus. Really, really odd, really, really odd. One thing about the shape community, man, there's no shortage of characters. Like, I am a true believer in live. Live and let live. You know, so I really don't. Again, a short of people attacking others. I really don't care what anybody does. To each their own. But it's, again, just... A lot of people try to like to take it upon themselves to... Uh, to judge others or dude I'm dying here Whew. you know I probably already told you, I, I know I've said this a few times so forgive me if you guys are tired of hearing it this restroom's in the middle of the, the building that I live in my house and there's no windows there's no airflow it's just An absolute oven in here. Like I'm even having trouble stretching my skin because not only is the soap slick, but I'm sweating along with this. As usual, PA performed wonderfully. Even with my salty sweat in the mixture. 
And the Shave the Man brush is, of course, performing wonderfully as well. What else could you ask for? Yeah, so just, I don't know. I'm just, there's a lot of big problems in this world. I know I have a lot more significant problems than what goes on YouTube, Facebook, and G+. But I'm just, I'm interested, I'm, it's, it's very intriguing as to what battles people decide to fight. Like, I'd much rather be concerned with, or I wish I didn't have to worry about it, but I'd rather be concerned with paying bills, making sure my kids are doing good in school. Stuff like that. You know, unless it, it involves, like, defending one of my buddies out on here, you know, that somebody's harassing or something, I usually don't even get involved in fights. Or arguments, you know. Again, you get the occasion where people want to like try to be rude to me and stuff, and I'll tell them, "Hey, dude, you know, I'll tell them something." We'll get into it a little bit, but in terms of just general something that ain't got nothing to do with me, for me to try to pick a fight with, it's kind of weird. Yeah, maybe just, again, it could be a cultural thing. You know, you, we've all seen those movies where you're in the inner city and, you know, the minority parents tell their kids not to tell the cops anything. And maybe that's just how I grew up, or minding my own damn business. You know, it could be a cultural thing. Okay, so I don't like the five phrases I sent to Anthony Esposito. He's already sent two of them so I got sent back the next day. So I'm excited because it's again my favorite razors in there. And he's, he said he knows how much I love that weighted butcher. So he's already sending that one back. So thank you, Anthony. And also my uh, king cutter is in that first uh, shipment back over here. Then I have my custom razor that's going to get home from, uh, by hand. He says a little bit of issues with that. With, that uh, the spine might be a little bit off. So when he holds the blade flat on a stone, it's not laying completely flat. But he said that uh, using, I think, some rolling strokes, he should be able to do it okay. So it's unfortunate, but hey, you live and you learn. So actually guys, it's hot, I'm dying, I'm completely melting, um, Los Angeles Galaxy game today, I'm actually excited about that, because I've actually never gone to a Galaxy game, and they've been good, for the last like decade or so, they've been really, really competitive for the, you know, the bulk of it, so excited about that, you guys have a good one, any questions, concerns, or comments, please feel free to leave them down at the bottom, um, you guys have a good one, oh, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm going to go ahead and use Fine Platinum with it. You know, but yeah, I still got to apply the layers and all that. But again, I'm just freaking hot, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. Have a good one, guys.